Assalamualaikum and have a good day everyone. I am Cik Gudila and today we will learn about scientific skills. This topic is for science year 4, unit 1. Scientific skills are the skills practiced when conducting an experiment or investigation. Scientific skills can be divided into two, which are science process skill and the other one is manipulative skill. Science process skills, this is some of the example of science process skills which is it can be observing, communicating, classifying, measuring using numbers, making an inference or inferring and predicting. And this is the whole things about science process skills. So science process skills can be observing, you observe something, okay? Next, classifying. You classify something based on their specific characteristics. We have measuring and using numbers, making inference, predicting, communicating, using space and time relationship, interpreting data, defining operationally, controlling variables, formulating or making hypotheses and last experimenting here i will explain a bit about using space time relationship using space time relationship is a skill that describes changes of situations or phenomena based on the changes in parameter over time this is the examples of parameters. For example, size, volume, weight, location, directions, or shape. Let's look some example. We have a cube, an ice cube. But after 5 minutes, look what happened to the ice cube. It start melting. And after 10 minutes, what happened? It keep melting. So, what is the relationship between space and time based on this activity? So, as the time increases, the shape of the size becomes irregular and it decreases in size. You can observe it. Yes, it happened. Next, interpreting data. Interpreting data is a skill to give rational descriptions about objects, events, or patterns from collected data. And data can be collected in form of table, pie chart, bar chart, or classification chart. Next, we move to defining operationally. Defining operationally is a skill to define a concept by stating what can be carried out and observe. For example, we have a cup of water and we dump a sponge. Look what happened. The operational definitions of the ability of a material to absorb the most water is the least of volume water left in the beaker but this one is not a beaker but a cup of water next controlling variables as we know we have three type of variables which are manipulative variables responding variables and constant variables variables are factors that can be changed in an investigation so, variables can be manipulated variables, a variable that is changed in an investigation, something that we change. Constant variable is the variables that remain constant, unchanged. From the first experiment until the end of the experiment, it doesn't change, still the same. Responding variables, a variable that is observed in an investigation, that is the result. That is what you want. So that is the responding variables. Let's see some examples. 
Identify the variables in the investigation below. ESA conducted an investigation on the number of bricks that can be supported by bridge models built using different types of road as shown in the diagram below. This is the diagram. Everything is the same, but the difference is the road. Okay? Either wooden road or plastic road. Here we can see the constant variable which is the same is the type of brick. We use the same type of brick for each of the tests or experiment. Manipulated variables is the type of fruit which is the first one we use a wooden rod. The second one we use a plastic rod. Responding variable is the result. The number of brick supported by the bridge. From this experiment we can see that the wooden rod can hold more brick compared than the plastic road. Uh, that means the wooden road is harder and stronger. Next, we move to making a hypothesis. Making a hypothesis is a skill to make a general statement that can be tested about the relationship between the variables in an investigation. As for example, we have a cup of water. We put a sugar in it and then we stir. As the number of stir increases, the time taken for the sugar to dissolve completely decreases. So, more faster. Next, experimenting. Experimenting is a skill to plan and conduct an investigation to test a hypothesis by collecting and interpreting data to make conclusion from the investigation. Planning and experiment In order for us to plan an experiment, first we need to determine the control variables and determine apparatus and material needed. Determine method of collecting data. You want to put the data in what? For example, in a bar chart or graph or table. That is method of collecting data. And determine method of analyzing the data. Next, we move to the experimenting. The step of experimenting. First, what we need to do, we need to plan an experiment. Then, we need to identify the problems and making a problem statement. After that, we make a hypothesis, then controlling the variables, listing the apparatus and materials, planning the step, testing the hypothesis, next, collecting and interpreting data. After that, we're making a conclusion, and last, we need to write a report. Next, we move to the manipulative skills. Manipulative skills is practice when conducting an experiment. So this is some of the list of manipulative skills. Using and handling apparatus and material correctly. Handling specimen correctly and carefully. Sketching specimen, science apparatus and material correctly. Cleaning apparatus and material correctly. Storing science apparatus and substance correctly and safely. I think that's it for our lessons today. So you can scan the QR code below for notes in Bahasa Melayu. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for listening. Bye!